Well, hello, my Pisces friends. I hope you're doing well. Today, I have a very special love reading for you. I'm going to be reading the energies, your energies, their energies, and the relationships energies. So this is any special person, no matter where you are on the love spectrum. You could be uh, together in separation, just starting, just ending, wherever you are in the love separate in the love spectrum with this special person. Could be anybody you have on your mind. We're gonna do a deep dive read into what's going on there. And this is of course for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising. Um whether it's yours or theirs, but for theirs, I'm mostly doing sun because you may not know the time of birth and therefore can't figure out um, their moon or their rising. Uh, so I put more energy into the sun sign of, of your special person. We're uh, going to do some tarot cards. We're going to do some oracle cards. We're going to do a... Um, uh, some charms. We're going to go really, really deep into this, Pisces. So hang on. Let's get started. Pisces, yours, theirs, ours. Pisces, yours, theirs, ours. Let's get started with some energies, please. Yours, theirs, ours. Yours, theirs, ours. Pisces, what do we got going on? Yours, theirs, ours. Cards are ready. Okay, under yours. Oh, the shadow self. You know, this is the third group that is going through shadow work uh, regarding this, re regarding their relationship. There's creativity. Um, they're pregnant with possibilities. Again, this is genderless. Um, they're in a very creative mode. Um, so maybe if it's something that you haven't seen them for a while, maybe they're just too busy creating something. Um, but they're in a, they're in a really good place. I'll tell you that right now. They're in a really, really good place. You might not want to hear that. Um, but that's good for you because you know that they'll be more receptible when they're in a creative environment, um, to hearing from you and ours, the lovers choices. Okay. Pisces. Okay. Why are you going through your shadow when it looks like your person and the relationship right now is uh, looking good. And you're like, what are you talking about? We're in separation or they've ghosted me or let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Remember, this could be predictive. So this could be what is coming down the pike. Um, might not be exactly happening. This is a timeless reading. Uh, so this, this could also be predictive. Um, rather than the energies that are going on right now. These are the energies that are on the way for Pisces. Clarify, please, Pisces. Clarify for Pisces, please. Clarify for Pisces, please. Clarify for Pisces, please. Cards are ready. Transformation. All right. I'm, I was really happy to see that. I think you are on the final leg of your shadow self, of your shadow time. I think it's going to transform you. This is also the death card. So that would tell me it's the death. Look at death on death. Um, or devil on death. Sorry, pardon me. Um, this tells me you are near the end of it. So if you are way down there, Pisces, hang in there. You are on the way to ending this and to transform this. And what I like about when you transform the shadow, the dark night of the soul, you never have to do it again as long as you learn from it. Let's clarify them. Messenger. Messenger. Um, they may be a writer. They may be learning how to write. Um, they may be a designer because we have, we do have a hand with a pen in here. Um, they may be, uh, but I, it's, it's mostly to do with words. Um, if you haven't heard from them in a while, you're definitely going to hear from them. They're, they're writing up a storm here. Um, yeah, they, they are very, very good with words. Let's see yours. Change, change. So if, uh, you know, if your relationship has been on the rocks, that's going to change for the better. We didn't get the um, 
a wheel of fortune there, but that doesn't mean that we aren't because we're going to do some more tarot cards and that I'm just getting some clarification of the energy here. Um, so I think that change has a lot to do with your transformation when you have the shadow self transformation and change. I think you're going to affect the change in this relationship more so than the other person. Um, the other person may also be using some type of law of attraction uh, to, to attract what they want in life. And let's see if that includes you. Uh, let's get some more messages. Pisces, yours, theirs, and ours. Pisces, yours, theirs, and ours. Pisces, yours, theirs, and ours. Interesting, Pisces. We have March 31st here. March is uh, the month um, of, I know the 31st is, um, Aries already, but it still is a sidereal Pisces, March 31st. Um, but March is definitely, uh, for Pisces. So this might be more applicable to you if you follow the, a uh, sidereal Pisces sign or not more applicable, stronger message. Let's get some more. Let's get messages of love. Let's go a little bit deeper, please. Ours, yours, theirs. Ours, yours, theirs. Healing old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. There's your, your, your shadow right now. Let's see. Finances. Financial challenges are affecting this connection. So have they decided I'm going to be a writer? So I can't, I, I'm going to put all of that into it. I'm going to be a painter. Um, I'm going to be a graphic artist. And so they want to concentrate on their career more than a relationship right now. And they want to get the career up and going so they are more financially secure before they even look at a relationship. And you Pisces are going like, why can't we have both? Regret. Someone feels remorse the way they treated you. Okay, on the lovers, yeah. So one of you feel regret how they how you treated. And uh, that's going to be changing because we have the change card on there. Um, and this is going to be changing fast within one moon cycle within one moon cycle um let's see let's get their thoughts now this is their thoughts on ours theirs yours theirs and ours let's get their thoughts about what's going on let's get their thoughts before we even go deeper into the tarot card i'm just getting some energies now let's get their thoughts their thoughts please their thoughts for pisces their thoughts for Pisces, yours, theirs, ours. Let's see, their thoughts. Cards are ready. We are more alike than I admit. Oh, so they might be going through a dark night of the soul regarding money. You can't come with me. Okay. Yeah, that, it's exactly what I said. They want to work on their career, on their creativity. Um, maybe, you know, creativity can be also give, giving birth to a business. It doesn't have to be a creative business, but just giving birth to a business is creative in itself. Or maybe they want to finish school. They want to create a, um, a degree or a diploma or something, but they're certainly, they want to work on their finances. And that's all they want to work on. And I'm getting a message here. It's like you, you aren't hearing them. You aren't hearing what they're saying. And you're taking it a little bit too personal that they want to get going with this part of their life. And um, let's see what's going on. Oh, yes, it is too late. It is too late. Regret. And yes, it is too late. Um, wow, Pisces. Are they ghosting you? Are they, you know, is this change now? Is one of them flying the coop? Are they flying the coop? And uh, um, yes, it is too late. You can't come with me. We are more alike than I admit. Now, 
let's let's go a little bit deeper and see what's going on here let's go let's get let's get into the tarot cards now that we have the general energy i really feel like their career their creativity um really played a part in this and i'm feeling like they broke it off or they've left you or they're saying no to you and that's what's gotten you into your shadow and old wounds and childhood issues so their rejection of you or their saying no has brought up some really deep, deep, deep um, wounds from childhood where you rejected when you were a child. Where, you know, did, did somebody say no to you all the time when you were a child? And rather than see this logically that this would be someone, you know, um, who wants to work on themselves and, and, and um, you know, I'm being honest with you. And saying, you can't come with me. Um, you know, I, I want to do this on my own. I don't want the, I don't want a relationship right now. Um, uh, I, I, I just have to do this. They're being honest with you. And, uh, you know, that's, that's a blessing in disguise. I think even, even that rather than dragging you along and then hurting you all the time and saying, oh, I got to study for this. You can't come out. Oh, sorry. I'm going to miss your birthday. Oh, sorry. I have no money for uh, to go out and do this or blah, blah, blah. And uh, they have decided to change this. They they know you are a great match. We are more alike than I admit. And they know you're a great match because you guys, it, the lover's card came up. Um, but something, he changed, he flew the coop. He, uh, he or she or whatever. And... Um, and they do, they feel remorse. And I think that's why they finally just came out and said, okay, you can't come with me. And uh, yes, it's too late. But let's get some uh, deeper tarot cards. What's going on here, please? I mean, who? yes, it's too late right now for the relationship, but let's see if we get some cards indicating that in the further future, when it, this is all done for them, um, and you've healed some of your childhood wounds, um, because there is definitely a connection here. Let's see if we can warm that up in the, in the distant future when they are done all of this. Let's see. So tarot cards are ready. Sorry. I had to listen to the cards. Yeah, I knew it. They were going to split in two here. They have two. So I'm going to take. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune, isn't that funny? I said, I'm surprised the Wheel of Fortune hasn't shown up. And there it is in reverse on your healing. Yeah, this is, you, it feels like to you, it's bad luck. Oh, four swords on the finance. Yeah, the finances have dried right up. The finances aren't going anywhere. They aren't growing, uh, but he sees the potential because four swords upright is nothing's moving, resting, um, rehab. Uh, but in reverse, things start to move, although be it slowly because the three swords fall out, but there's still one there. So on top of the finances, um, the finances will slowly, slowly get better. Oh, here's the queen of wands on the regret. Was it you Pisces? Did you, did you treat them with not the respect that they deserved. Um, oh yeah, on the regret card, someone feels remorse the way they treated you. Were you maybe a little bit controlling? Um, were you insistent, demanding, um, played a little bit of mind games with them? Um, you know, try to get them to see your way. And uh, finally, they just said, no, I can't. I I can't do this. Oh, justice. On um, Yeah, you're going to balance this out, Pisces. You're going to balance this out. Definitely. Oh, death, transformation. So we have two death cards. You're going through a transformation and they're going through a transformation. But their transformation is going to be how where they are now to where they are going regarding their career and their finances. 
your transformation is going to be more psychological, more deeper, more inner work, whereas their transformation is going to be on the outside. I really think their finances are going to greatly, greatly improve by this. What they're doing is right. Oh, not that one. There's always that extra one in there. Oh, seven of swords. Um, I feel like... There is, where when it says it, it is too late and we have the Seven of Swords, uh, something happened in this relationship that I don't think it'll ever, it won't be whole again. Um, something has been t taken away. Um, and that's why it's, it's, yes, it's too late. That doesn't mean it can't be a brand new relationship. Um, let's see what it does. Movement of Pentacles. Uh, so we here we have the king, uh, or king, knight of pentacles in reverse. And then we have the reverse there with the justice. You know what? You actually need to sit on this for a while. You need to sit on this and really work on this old wounds because this wounds of childhood is what has caused this. Um, your fear of being alone or, re or rejection or somebody saying no to you has actually damaged this relationship. Um, and I, it, it won't, it won't recover. Those two swords are now gone forever. Um, I, I, I back that up. It doesn't mean it's going to recover. It will never be the same because we also have the change on here, but that doesn't mean that it can't ever be again. It'll just be look look like something different, which might be a good thing, especially if it's on the regret here of someone feels remorse the way they treated you. Um, so is this you the way you treated um, your partner? And and knowing that there is a little bit of damage in this relationship. Oh, two of cups. What did I tell you? They they honestly really feel like you know. They enjoy being with you. They feel like you are soulmates. They feel like you guys are, we are more alike than I admit. And cups, of course, is water, which is Pisces. We are more alike than what, and you have choices here. Um, so yes, right now they say, yeah, it's too late. You know what? Words have been said, right? Because swords are words and, and words have been said that have kind of damaged things. And that's why I had to go away and do this all on my own. And yes, right now it's too late. Leave me alone. But I can see they haven't closed the door forever. They realize that you are soulmates. And on the, on the death card, on the transformation card here, I think they think once they are done this and they can concentrate on the relationship, um, and they have a, their finances are starting to come along. Don't be surprised if if you hear from them. I don't think they've forgotten you completely at all. Oh, and look at more cups. So this is the Queen of Cups in reverse. This is you, Pisces. This is you. You. Um, you know what? Have a good look in the mirror. Sorry, I'm <laughs> not gonna blow smoke up your ass and tell you it's rainbows your person actually knows you can do better your person knows that they know you can do better they've got you right here they know it they know and right now they're like no please go away let me concentrate on this because you're creating too much drama queen of cups in reverse is cray cray drama and um Interesting, you got two queens here, both in reverse. Um, and then you've got the two swords that are being taken away, stolen away. Um, I think, you know, some of your actions and your words um, made this person make the decision that they made. And you have to own that. And that might be part of your dark night of the soul because you know you did it. You know you did it. Um, but the cards are also telling you. Take your time and figure this shit out. Figure it out. And if you figure that, but take your time while they're working on this, you figure out your inner, they're figuring out your outer. What do we have? 
We have an amazing relationship. That's the yin yang that you're looking for. Um, I'm not getting any indication that they have to work on their end. They know exactly where they're going. They don't have to work on their inner. They know exactly where they're going. Um, yeah, but yeah, I think they wouldn't mind a relationship with you, but not in the form that it was when they left. Not in that form at all. And for that to change, you have to change. You have to change inside. Um, this also is telling me that, um, you know, I think you have to admit some of your blame in, in the fact that they are in separation or they're leaving. And now if you're like, what are you talking about? He's still here. Again, this might be predictive. This is a general collective reading, uh, that might not be applicable to you at this time. Um, but on the other hand, if this doesn't mean anything to you, maybe this is a big, big warning sign for you. Well, maybe sit back and think, how are you treating your partner? Um, you know, are you, are they talking about giving a birth to this idea, to this creative idea, to this business? And, um, you're arguing with them and telling them they're stupid or whatever, you know, and just to let you know, that's where it's going to end up you alone and them still working on the project. You didn't win anything. All right. So let's get some predictive here. Some predictive for Pisces, yours, theirs, ours. Some predictive for Pisces, yours, theirs, ours. Yours, theirs, ours. Cards are ready. Patience. It's going to, you got to work on this. Don't rush through this, Pisces. Don't rush through this. Patience. Companionship. They, you know what? They might be open to just being friends right now. You might be saying, yeah, let's keep in touch. Let's stay Facebook friends. Let's, you know, text me now and then. But it, 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 they just want a friendship right now. Under the relationship. Impulsiveness. Impulsiveness. Um, I Maybe this was... Uh, Look, I think I get this feeling coming back to you, coming back to you. Ostentation. Yeah, I think, you know what, if you get back to this person, this person is going to do well with what they're what they're giving birth to. This because remember, we're doing predictive now. Oh, revenge. <laughs> revenge. Um, I think, you know what, I, I, what I just got from this success is the best revenge. They want to show everybody they were right. And especially if you look on here, there's lovers right here. Um, I think yeah, they're going to work extra, extra hard just to prove to you that they were right. And to show other people, maybe a lot of people are like, are you crazy? No one's going to buy your paintings. Are you nuts? You know how much singer songwriters make for years? Do you know how many people have gone bankrupt in that business? Their, their success is going to be um, their revenge. Absolutely. Because look at here comes, here comes success. Um, and success is the best revenge. Let's see on the relationship. Exaltation. I think, uh, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if you're the first to hear of their success. And uh, they're going to be so happy and so excited to tell you. And uh, until that point, it's going to feel like they don't care. It's going to feel like they're ghosting. Um, but at the meantime, they always have you on their mind. They just can't deal with you right now. Um, and they're going to have success. And I really think you're going to be the first one to hear about it. Appreciation and the cornucopia here. Um, this will all be worth it, Pisces. This will all be worth it in the end. The singing, the bluebird of happiness. Um, we have more creativity here. Um, but, the, but with the ostentation, this will all be worth it. I, I don't think this person, is, this person can't wait to share it with you to tell you the truth. Um, you're going to be the first person that they, that they call. And they can't wait to share it with you. I think just right now, they can't deal with you. They just can't. Independence. Yeah, what did I say? They want to do this on their own. 
they want to say, I did it. I did it. No one helped me. I did it. I did it all on my own. And I, I'm successful all on my own. Um, and I did it. I didn't need anybody's help. Um, yeah, I think don't be surprised if they try and just remain friends with you. Just, you know, keep in touch and, hey, you know, a bunch of us are going down to the bar on Friday. See you then. Um, but, yeah, no, they want to be by themselves to do this. They're, while they're working on this, while they're giving birth to this project, whatever this project is, um, they want to do it by themselves because then they are the ones who get to have the success is the best revenge. Vision. This person can see very far into the future. If you look at that lone fox and opportunity, um, I think, I honestly think that I, I honestly think they just don't want you with interfering with their vision right now. And they, and they do have a big picture and the, I think the big picture does include you. Um, well, cause we have the exaltation here uh, under ours under the, and the, the vision there. And look, Sun in Pisces. Don't be surprised if by your birthday, um, by your birthday, Pisces. Look, I just noticed that with Sun in Pisces, they have a vision with you, absolutely. Um, and I don't be surprised if by your birthday things really, really come together for them and for your relationship. You started off with with the lovers. This is. Uh, this is the lover's card. Um, you just got to give them space and don't be crazy about it. Don't be, um, don't be stalking them. Don't just give them space, Pisces. Give them the space that they need. Let them do this on their own, whatever it is. They're saying, I don't need your help. I don't need anybody's help. I'm going to do this. If you look, it's all single cards. Um, they want to get this, get their shit together. And trust me, they want to share it with you. They want to share this success with you. Um, they, you'll be the first to know about it. And don't be surprised if that's when they want to uh, reconnect with you. Um, now, they're taking a big chance because what if you find somebody else in the meantime? I haven't seen that at all. I haven't seen a third person. There's not one card here that tells me there's a third person. I think when you get together with them again, you'll be healed. They'll be completed. You'll have a, a relationship that has changed, but for the better, because you have the exaltation here and the long-term vision, the long-term vision for this, for this relationship. So let's get some summary cards, please, before we do the charms. Let's get some summary cards for Pisces, please, before we do the charms. Yours, theirs, ours. Yours, theirs, ours for Pisces, please. Cards are ready. The sacred temple. Pisces, work on yourself. Work on your mind. Be careful who you let into your sacred temple. You honestly got to work on this. This is, your, this is also your blessing to be in separation, to be apart, to work on this. And like I said, if you aren't in separation, then work on this before separation happens. There's some, like the card said, healing old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. There you go. Maybe, uh, and Pisces are very spiritual. Um, maybe... <laughs> whatever religion that you go for, maybe, maybe reach out to a pastor, uh, a rabbi, whatever religion you are in. Um, maybe go see something, um, go, maybe go to church or your temple or whatever it is that you do. Um, and, and go get some spiritual healing as well. I think that would, uh, really help with that. Let's see there. Oh, look at, 
I honestly, that's why I love sh shuffling these cards in front of you. Success. What did I tell you? They're going to be very successful. Happy success. They're going to be so successful. Uh, playing it safe. Yeah, there's, you just got to play it safe right now. Um, the fireworks are coming. You got some fireworks there. Got to just wait it out. Just wait it out. Wait for their success. Your healing. Like, honestly, Pisces, you can't make, you saw this. <sighs> deep, deep breath. Yeah, they're, they're going to have great, happy success. You're going to heal whatever's, or, and you just have to play it safe right now. Don't be cray cray. Play it safe. Don't be crazy. Don't be stalking. Don't be pushing. Don't ghost them. Just play it safe. Like I said, they, they wouldn't mind just being in touch. Hey, how's it going? Cheer them on. If that's, if they've got something that they, you know, geez, that looks really great. Or that's a great idea. Don't get too pushy though. Don't, oh, and then what? And then what? Just really be their kind of cheerleader for now. Just play it really safe. Don't do anything to absolutely cut this off forever. Just, just be there. And, um, I, I think you're going to be really happy with this in the end, Pisces. Let's get some charms. Now, the charms are just for you, Pisces, not the relationship or for them. So charms for Pisces, please. Okay. Got a bottle of wine. <laughs> I have a bottle of wine. Do some, do some celebrating. Uh, whatever wine means to you, we got a couple of buttons here. Principle. It's the principle of the matter. And yeah, we've got the crow here. Isn't that interesting? We have two crows. You both have to be independent right now. You have to be a little bit in. This is only one crow. You have to also be independent. Um, we have the P and the number three. I don't know if that means anything to you. We have money. Here comes some money. And this is a gold coin. Here comes some money. There's a 10 on there. So I don't know if that means anything to you. Uh, could be there the 10th sign, which is Capricorn. Could be the 10th month, the 10th of a month. Uh, maybe you've known each other for 10 months or everything will come together in 10 months. But you definitely have uh, gold coming to you. You'll definitely have money coming to you. We've got the rose quartz, love. So yeah, you, you've got love coming. We've got, I don't know, you can't really quite see this. This is jade. This is a really uh, dark jade, um, which is good luck. And maybe you can see it that way a little bit better. Um, this is good luck if, if you want to, uh, jade is also success. Um, get yourself a jade bracelet, a little piece of jade on a necklace and uh wear it for a little bit of protection we've got the butterfly here which is the transformation definitely you're gonna you're gonna beat this you're gonna heal this wound and transform you are i just know you are pisces because especially if you lean on your spirituality whatever that looks like to you because pisces rules spirituality um, so you're going to, you're definitely going to transform something. Um, and I love this for you, this star that's under Pisces colors, that aqua. So here we have also a number five. So that means might mean something to you. May fifth of the month. Fifth sign is Leo. Um, but this is definitely, um, we'll go to the sea because we also have the dolphin. And the dolphin also is um, subconscious. Uh, dolphins also are happy. This is a really small dolf dolphin, though. Um, so, but I still, so that's why I think it's your subconscious, because your subconscious is in the smaller part of your brain. It's called the um, paleo brain on your, on your brain stem. Um, maybe work on your subconscious a little bit especially the Pisces, Pisces, the Pisces part of your subconscious, the, the habits and feelings that you were born with. 
uh, because that's the Pisces. I haven't seen this starfish yet in that whole thing. So there's a Piscean starfish in there just for you, Pisces. Wow, it looks like it, you, you might be going through a bumpy road here, but it's all going to be worth it in the end, Pisces. Just hang in there. Watch the tendency to be cray-cray, over-caring, um, over-emotional, and, uh, and you're going to be just fine. Thanks so much for watching. Take good care.